an interview with children's author Janie Louise Jones. What is your writing routine? Well, I don't have a strict writing routine because I very much base my writing life around family life. Um, I tend to write at some point every day and in all honesty, I probably produce my best words later on in the evening. So that's a favourite time. But in terms of editing and reading and checking through things, then that would be a morning job. So creativity at night and the boring chores of writing in the morning. Where do you get your ideas from? I get the ideas for my stories from the texture of my own life. Um, but clearly you add some imagination into the things that you witness in your everyday life. So for characters, certainly one character, for example, might be an amalgam of three or four characters um, that I've met in the course of my life. I get ideas from my children, from my own town, and from train journeys and bus rides and taxi rides and just from the whole rich texture of human life. How would you describe your lifestyle? I would say that my lifestyle is quite old-fashioned really. Um, I'm very much a nester, a home bird. I like to build a secure family base and I enjoy my home, my children, my, my marriage and I like to um, incorporate that into my work. So a typical day for me would be walking on the beach with my dog, shopping for a meal for my family, cooking for my family, doing a bit of writing, and the whole uh, texture of my life weaves together somehow and works out in the end. What are your favourite books? My favourite books over the years have included Anne of Green Gables, House on the Prairie in terms of picture books. I love Katie Morag in terms of early readers, I'd say Millie Molly Mandy. Then later on I came to the Brontes. I especially loved Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre. And then moving on I would say the Austen novels in particular Pride and Prejudice and Mansfield Park. Have you ever had writer's block? There are times when a story is hard to conclude. Um, I've never had writer's block in the sense of literally not being able to think of ideas. I've had difficulty bringing a story together at times and usually sleeping on it is the best idea. It is true that you can solve a plot problem in a dream usually. Um, so if you come back to something afresh, it always helps. But so far, thank goodness, my main problem has been having too many ideas in one story rather than not enough. When did you get interested in crafts? Well, over about the last six years, I would say, um, I've begun to merge my writing, my story writing, with my love of, of crafting because my central character, Princess Poppy, also loves crafts. So when I go to literary events, we also do lots of crafting activities. And um, it seems to have chimed with what's going on out in the world. There are more crafting shops and there's a kind of a harking back to nostalgic crafts. So it fits in beautifully and it's become a much greater part of my life over the last few years. Janie, thank you for answering our questions. Thank you.